Yo, what's going on, people? It's someone that's no one here today. Today, we're here for an update video. We're gonna be updating you on some upcoming things for the channel, some changes that uh, will start occurring about next month, and also for the Q&A, which we'll save at the end. But first off, I wanna thank fucking everyone for subscribing, for fucking with the channel. We're growing fast as fuck at this point. I, I did not expect this shit to happen, like, We've basically, in the last month, I've quintupled, quintupled, fucking can't speak. You guys know what I'm saying. My, uh, uh, the su subscribers gained. So it's like, we're starting to move, you know, we're, we're getting our numbers up, which is fucking awesome. And I just wanted to thank everyone. Again, I love you all. Thanks for fucking with me and look forward to making great, great content for you guys. But let's get into the updates. So... We're almost at 5k, and at 5k, remember there's going to be a uh, 5k special, and that's going to be my first time doing LSD. Should be a pretty good video. I think you guys will like what happens. It's going to be pretty lengthy and very entertaining in my, my opinion. Next is trip reports are going to be changing pretty much forever. Well, I don't, I don't want to say forever, but we're going to be changing some things up with the format with the trip reports and basically how it's laid out how it's done now the first thing we're most likely almost most definitely going to be adding regardless is going to be an intro to this now i got i i see a lot of you guys in the comments like is this your your experience like you went through this how, how does this motherfucker do all these fucking drugs like shit ain't adding up now an intro will clarify things because we'll explain things like uh, who who did it, who's it by, also the substance they took and how much, where it happened, when it happened, and just some basic info so you guys can get a basic idea of what the trip entails and we can get rid of that confusion as well. Afterwards, we're going to just tell the story how it is and that's probably not going to change. I mean, all I really do for the stories is do some uh, grammatical uh, editing, some um, editing to make it flow nicer, or just filling filling in the blanks here and there. Uh, not too much. I, I try to leave it pretty much as uh, subjective as possible to the user, so we can basically see it from their eyes. And someone did suggest maybe I should uh, rewrite the report so it just sounds nicer in my own words and whatnot. Now I'm I'm not really a big fan of that because I. Part of this is subjectivity and painting the community itself and how everyone acts and who's a part of it. So I want to keep it real like that. Now, after re the report, we're going to have some type of evaluation or my opinion on the report. So basically, this may just be tying up like loose ends or digging deeper into maybe what was suggested suggested in uh, the, the report, such as uh, some philosophy or ideas about entities or whatnot and what they might mean or what it might entails and just kind of like an analysis maybe some safety tips or some shit basically and what i think of it basically uh at the end of the report and this won't add this won't be a ton but i do want this kind of more structured i'll probably only be doing this um for the online reports the reports that come from like Eurowid and whatnot if you send a report in i'm probably going to ask you would you want me to you know add my analysis to it or my opinion at the end of it and what i make of it um or we can just have the story if it you just want it to be uh showcasing your story so i'll leave that up to you guys for those who are submitting the reports and if you don't know you can submit the reports uh check the description there should be a submit your report here with my email. So if you have some report you got written out, hit me up and we'll showcase it on the channel for you. And this won't be for like another month or so, but sometime in May uh, until we implement this format. And if you have any like comments or how do you feel about it, I would really like to know uh, in the comments below, do you prefer this or do you prefer just the stories? Um, I'll also probably put timestamps in the video for some of you guys who probably just want the story. But let's move on to the Q&A now. The first question we got comes from Launch Boy. What are your thoughts on the so-called machine elves 
people like Terrence McKenna and 4343 talk about. Okay, for this Q&A, before we jump into your question here, some of these questions, and I expected this to happen, do entail their own, or warrant their own video themselves, and this is definitely something I would most likely that I'm end up going to be doing at some point in the future, I don't know when, but what are my thoughts about this? So first off, big respect towards Terrence. He's probably the main influencer who actually caused me to embark on my own journey, my own psychedelic journey. And also a shout out, shout out to 4343. Uh, he makes a lot of thought provoking content, content that is uh, very similar to uh, psychedelic thinking. And if you guys don't know him, go check him out. I'm sure a lot of you would enjoy his content. Now, as for the question, uh, the the machine elves what what do I think of them do I think they're real do I what are they exactly so first thing I want to clarify I don't think they're like little elves or like little fucking gnomes running about doing their doing whatever and they're just like entities there uh, it's a lot more complicated than that uh, though I think it may be possible to hallucinate them as that form but what I actually think they they are or what is being referred to here is uh, self-transforming hallucinations uh, and they're these entities that are basically the experience itself and that are divine and all-knowing and they try to teach you these things where do they come from they can come from fucking anywhere they may be from a higher dimension up the next dimension up they may be from the spiritual realm or whatnot, uh, the metaphysical realm. They may be uh, aliens trying to communicate with us through this experience and it's actually like a communication device or something. So it, the, the possibilities seem endless to be honest. It, again, it may not even be entities at all. It may just be a hallucination of your own thought processes that are embodied as entities so i'm not exactly sure i haven't clinged on to any ideas or stuck with any ideas of these but it's definitely an entertaining thought to explore and if you you want to know more about this stuff go check out uh terrence of course r4343 as send this comment here though definitely give you a lot more info on what it is or what it, what they are what it could be Next question comes from Patrick, your favorite drug combo. So I had to think about this a little bit, and I would say it's probably weed and phenobut, or weed or and an opiate, but most likely weed and phenobut, just because, or and maybe some beers on top of that. But <laughs> reason being is the euphoria I get out of that and music, it it just goes like it just feels amazing to me. Uh, everyone doesn't really get this from what I've seen some people may not even feel it like that but in my subjective experience definitely that Benabute and weed next question comes from Benny Beats I believe that's how you say it are Ben Beats or Bean Beats um tell me how to pronounce that in the comments below I appreciate it do you regret any of your psychedelic experiences Yes, I'll say this right now, but maybe not in the way that you're necessarily thinking, where I've had a bad trip and I was just like, never again, and I, like what I, I took too much, or like it was never because I took too much, or the experience was too hard for me to handle, or it was just bad overall. I regret taking psychedelics when I was in this kind of like binge phase, where I was taking like LSD maybe once a week. I just felt like I was wasting my time after a certain point where I just got the message, but I kept on taking it. So it was like, what am I doing? I'm just bullshitting like around right now, trying to have fun when I could be productive and you know get somewhere with my life. And that's the feelings of regret that would come up. Also, uh, I would regret it if my tolerance was too high and I would just get a shitty trip in results or just an uninteresting mild trip in results is probably the only time I actually regretted taking psychedelics. Next question comes from Giovanni. What drugs have you done and do a mescaline report, please? I got you on that mescaline report, bro. Uh, I get this question a ton 
a lot. I, I think there's like 30 plus or something. It's 20 and 30. I think between 20 and 30 different substances I've tried. Am I going to list them all out for you? Probably not. I, I, I don't think so. But um, I'll, I'll list five of my favorites. How about that? Uh, shrooms, weed, fenibut, um, oxys, um, <laughs> and what's a good fifth? I, 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 maybe, maybe, I, I don't want to say DMT because it's not my go-to drug, but I, I do respect it a lot, but ashwagandha actually ashwagandha is fucking amazing next question ganja freedom 420 love the name bro fate free will are both so this really does depend how you define fate i believe i personally don't think there's anything such as free will free will is an illusion in my uh, opinion or well you can logically argue that free will is an illusion but i'm not going to get into that too much fate on the other hand fate as in this was meant to happen so i can learn from it or fate as in i dropped this quarter so gravity is gonna pull it down and that's just determined already like i think there is a thing as like physical uh fate that has to do with matter and whatnot and certain processes in our brains that are that makes sense for things and just explain why things happen but fate as in i was supposed to meet this person or i was supposed to see this or that and this ties in with this meaning in my life this portion in my life and how all this all goes together i think there may be something like that in a metaphysical realm but it's hard to say i can't necessarily say i believe in that but i think there's the possibility for it but free will nah i'm gonna say nah on that bro and both nah because nah to free will next question i wish i can say your name or knew how to say your name but can't read this sorry about that bro but hey what do you think about psychedelics as mind control drugs to get us all enslaved into another program <laughs> great great i've had this thought uh many of times so psychedelics can be used as a mind control drug in a way that psychedelics get us closer to objectivity and they make us realize some of the the humanness in us that why we do certain things and why certain things are just attributed to our uh, natural instincts rather than what our minds or the super ego may actually want this could be seen like if we get everyone you know just dose everyone up with this and make everyone more objective and focused on what they need to do it takes away kind of that freedom or a free free of not knowing and it's weird because it's not exactly the enslaved you picture where we're controlling people in a way but we're controlling people to think logically and come to these logical conclusions and contribute more to society and whatnot so it it, it depends i don't know exactly on the ethics of that technically it is i guess an, an enslaving tactic but at the same time it's for the greater good right so the question is then should we let people live as they live maybe happier that way maybe if you don't know all that entails uh knowledge is power so i don't know it's hard to say i don't have the answer for this but those are some of my thoughts of it next question super josephus have you watched hamilton morris's vice series the second season of Hamilton's Pharmacopoeia is legit what got me interested in psychedelics in the first place, and I highly recommend it. Regardless, love your videos, man. Ask no one. Okay, well, thank you for your support, mate, first off. Next, have I watched them? Yes, I have, and you know, it's only, I would say that's only really one of the few uh, things from Vice that I fuck with is Hamilton Morris's Pharmacopoeia series. Uh, he provides a lot of good information if you guys don't know he, he, he's not the one who got me into it i later found out about him or the videos were, were uh came, came out uh later after my 
indulgences into the psychedelic realm but if you guys don't know about him definitely go check him out he they're a documentary type videos on different substances and what they do why people take them and a lot of cultural insights as well on this and there's definitely a lot of value you can get out of uh this series and i would recommend it too next question joe next question from joe ask no one what's the most amount of psychedelics you combine together and how was your trip so i have uh two that come to mind here i have one experience where i did uh dpt lsd and dxm then i have just um Ethelad and DXM. Now, how was my trip? I'm not going to tell you the trip because those are going to be videos someday. Um, the 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 first one, fucking amazing, uh, very euphoric. There was really nothing bad. The second one, uh, pretty fucking wacky. Like, shit was like a Rick and Morty episode meets reality, and just fucking wild. Just just know that, and you'll see what I'm talking about when those videos do come out. So yeah, that is the Q&A. That's the update video. If you guys have any questions below uh, for the next Q&A, hashtag me with ask no one and we'll do the next Q&A. It won't probably be for another two months or so or whenever. It depends how much questions we get. But happy enough to uh, answer your questions for you guys. Let me know how I did on my first Q&A here and any improvements to be made or whatnot or suggestions uh, for the series that we can do much appreciated again i want to say thank you guys for subscribing and coming along on this journey with this channel it's been great so far and there's a lot more to come and i feel like we we have so much to improve on and things are just going to continue to grow so it's going to be fun so like the video subscribe uh, check out the socials if you haven't already it's been your boy someone that's no one and i'll catch you guys later peace out Thank you.